Bora, Zu. Welcome to today's lesson. Today we're going to go through the solo from Riverman by Noel Gallagher's High Flying Birds. Um, really cool song, this is going to do the rhythm parts to it uh, soon as well. I've actually struggled a bit more with the rhythm parts from this solo bit. Um, but yeah, anyway, really cool song. Um, the guy who plays the solo live is not Noel Gallagher, it's his guitar player. Who, the videos I've seen was a different one but now it's Gem Archer. Anyway, capo first fret. Um, for that particular guitar player, but I'm just going to do it as though there's no capo on and just tell you the frets because I think it's easier that way. Um, but yes, he, he would have a capo on the first fret, but the frets I tell you, as I say, will just be the right frets. So when I say 13, I literally mean the 13th fret with or without a capo on, it's the 13th fret, okay? So you don't have to adjust it for the capo, you can play it without the capo on, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, Noel Gallagher, when he plays it live, he has capo 8th fret. This solo becomes a bit tricky then. Um, because that makes the bends quite difficult to really get the full range on the bends if you have a capo on the 8th fret. It's just something to think about if you want to play this solo live. Make sure you've got another guitar player doing those other bits, basically. Um, but yeah, really cool song, F minor, pentatonic, is going to be our shape. Um, so, as usual, the next thing you'll see will be me playing it and then I'll go through it uh, kind of lick by lick. Uh, and that's the plan, so let's do that. Okay, cool. So, as I said, it's basically an F minor, so most of this, this scale is going to be here, this shape here. We're also going to throw in this G note as well, which will be the second note in the F scale. Um, so it's still diatonic to F minor, but it's not in the pentatonic, but it sounds pretty cool. It's hard to tell exactly when the, it, uh, the first note of this, this F note comes in. You can hear it swelling on the track, though, just before, so it might be that it's just kind of kind of being put in there with a with a volume swell but it's a 13th fret on the E string which is an F note and we're going to do two of them and I'm going to just work up the scale the F minor pentatonic scale 16th fret on the E string two of them then on 13th fret on the A string two of them then 15th fret on the A string two of them then on the D I'm going to play 13 once and then 15 once once don't know why said it so weirdly. So that's a really simple first lick as we come in. It's about 151 in the song if, you, if you've got the YouTube video, um, which is what I've been using to transcribe it. One minute 51 into the song is when this solo comes in. It goes till 228 from today. Uh, so that's the first lick, pretty simple stuff. That F note, just working your way up an F minor pentatonic scale. Okay, now the next lick, so lick two. 16th fret on the B string, then I'm going to play 13 on the E, and then I'm going to play 15 on that E um, four times. Okay, so you end up with this. Now, every other time we throw in, it's a bit quiet, isn't it? Every other time we throw in that C note as well, which is 13th fret B, but we don't on this first time because we've just gone. We have to go straight from this F note here straight to that note there. Yeah. So little bit of a little bit of a kind of a quick move down there. 16 uh, E flat note there on the B, then 13 on the E, and then four 15s on the E. And then as I said, this time we're going to start from that C note. 13 on the B, 13 on the B, 16 on the B, 13 on the E, four 15s on the B. Oh, on the E, sorry, on the E, sorry. I'm going to vibrato all of those just a little bit, not enough to really be a bend, but just to have a vibrato. So that's kind of um, kind of licks two and three to put together. So it'd be this. Oh, not that. And then for this final lick, um, we're actually going to do this one exactly the same later on. Really cool lick. We work up the same way: 13 on the B, 16 on the B, 13 on the E, and then we hit 15 on the E. 
Then we're going to play 13 on the E, 16 on the B, 13 on the E, so. Then I'm going to play 16 on the B, then 15 on the B, then 16 on the B. Then, so it's. You can see the sequence that we're going through here. Then it's 15 on the B, 13 on the B, 15 on the B. Then thir um, 13 on the B, and then I'm going to play 15 on the G, and I'm going to play 13 on the B four times. Again with vibrato. So let me play that whole lick through slowly. Okay, so that is lick four. Okay, so licks five and six now are very similar to licks two and three. We start 13 on the B, then 16 on the B, then 13 on the E. So that's pretty similar. And then we're going to play this 15th note three times, and we're going to do a bend up and down on the third one, but it's a very small bend. So that's the lick all together. Just about a semitone, but it's a, it's almost about doing it really quickly as much as anything. Like that, damn well. Okay, so that would be uh, lick five, and lick six is almost identical, but we hold the fifteen before we do the bend. So we pick it, hold it, and then do the bend. So it'd be like that. Okay, so just I'll just go through that just in case anyone's looking down. So that will be uh, now lick six, thirteen on the B, sixteen on the B, thirteen on the E. So thirteen B, sixteen B, thirteen E, fifteen on the um, E. And we're going to do it three times, and we're going to do a bend on the third time. We're just going to leave it for a sec, though. So it's going to be 15, 15, pick it, hold, semitone, bend up and down. Okay, and then we're going to do, um, now it's going to be, so one, two, three, four, five. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's lick six. So lick seven is exactly the same as lick four. We work up from 13, so it's going to be 13, 16 and then 13 on the E, so 13, 16 on the B, 13 on the E, 15 on the E, then 13 on that E, 16 on the B, 13 on the E, then on the B, 16, 15, 16, then on the same string, 15, 13, 15, then 13 on the B, 15 on the G, and then four 13s on that B. Okay? So just, just do that first kind of big chunk of the solo together. I'll do the first lick as well. So now this final bit, very similar ideas, but we're going to have a few more bends. So it's very hard to hear exactly what he's playing. I, I had lots of ideas, but it sounds like it's actually just that C note. I do it three times quickly. Then I'm going to bend 16 on the E. So this is the note you'd expect in the F minor pentatonic. It's four bends. We never kind of go all the way back down for each bend. And then the fourth one, we really let ring out with some vibrato. So it'd be like that. And then we're going to do a very similar idea, but this time we're going to go 13 on the B, 16 on the B, 13 on the E, and then do four bends. Similar kind of uh, idea. The rhythm is slightly different on those. So first time. Yeah, that, that in fact, I think I did them almost identically there. There is a slight difference, but it's it's very, very tiny. So if you listen to, to my version of it, you'll hear the slight difference, but it's very, very tiny. And the third one is where it's the big difference. So we do the same 
start again. 13 on the B, 16 on the B, 13 on the E. This time I'm going to do three bends on that 16. Then I'm going to play 16 like that. So let me try and do that little lick together. Those three licks together, sorry. Okay, so what rhythmically between the first two, um, the first bend you hold longer than you do on the second one. So you'd go, and the second time it would just be four in a row, like that. Hopefully that makes sense. And obviously that third one is, is very different where you do three and then you end on 16. So that's where we've got to. So now we've got the two final licks. This first of the two final licks, oof, penultimate lick I should say, very simple, 13 on the E. 16 on the B, 13 on the E, 16 on the B with a bend. Like that. And then the final lick, we're just going to run down that scale. So F minor pentatonic scale. 13 on the E, 16 then 13 on the B. I'm going to bend the G string 15 up and down. Then I'm going to pick 13, I'm pretty sure it's a pick of a 13, not a pull off as you'd normally do. Then on the D string, 15, 13. Same on the A string. Then 16, 13 on the E. And we end up on the F note that we started on. And so let me do those final few licks, one, two, three, final five licks of the solo then, together. messed up the last note so that's it cool and so that's that really cool solo that's played in the middle of the song really like that one cool solo really really good solo uh yeah there's not much else to say about it really it's uh, another classic Noel Gallagher solo sounds great but isn't that hard to play as long as you know how to play your minor pentatonic um, and you can do some bends you're going to be absolutely fine with this one so yeah there you go that's it cool so that was it yeah hopefully um that made sense i uh, hope you enjoyed it it's a good solo enjoyed playing this one i enjoyed playing this one i've uh, really enjoyed uh, transcribing it as well so yeah good fun solo this one thumbs up to this as with a lot of Noel gallagher solos they're really nicely put together and they're not that tricky which is another reason i like them so plans for some more um high flying bird stuff as well um Next, I'll probably, as I say, do the rhythm parts of this, and I might even do another High Flying Birds one, uh, and then some more Oasis. That's going to be the plan going forward. Um, so, uh, do my usual bit at the end and basically say thank you for watching. I do genuinely appreciate everyone who watches my videos. Um, if you like the video, please like the video. It really helps, as does commenting on the video. Again, that really, really helps me. Um, and also, if you like all my stuff, please subscribe to the channel. Again, as you can probably guess, that really, really helps. Uh, and I do also have a Patreon. Uh, all the, 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 the links below to that and all my other social medias are going to be in the description box below. Um, and follow me or go on Patreon if, if, you, if you can. And if not, follow me on my Twitters and Facebooks and Instagrams. Uh, all my stuff down there. Yeah. So, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll say that again. Uh, and I'll see you guys again soon for some more cool good stuff. I oh, that was hard to say. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.